So you are unique. There is only one you. So stop comparing yourself. Be responsible, be creative. Because your creative best are unconditional love by the clever creator. So be grateful, be thankful, challenge yourself, challenge the norm. Because that is what God trusts us to do, to be the creative you. Hey what is up guys welcome back to another After Effects tutorial today I'm in my office and I'm gonna show you guys how to make a kinetic typography so kinetic typography I can say it's pretty similar to text animations right you can see a lot of music videos adapting kinetic typography because it's one of the ways to convey text in a dynamic and audible I got a quote so we see a lot of music videos adapting this kind of kinetic typography. It is one of the ways to convey messages to text in a dynamic and fast-paced kind of way so that people will not get bored, right? There are tons of ways on how to make a kinetic typography. But I'm going to show you guys three simple tricks. Not really that simple anyway. So let's jump right into After Effects. Okay, so here we are now in After Effects. So, like always, I'm going to create a new composition. I'm going to create four compositions. So, let's create here kinetic one. And set the time to 40 seconds, like that. Okay. Then create another one. Type kinetic two. Okay. And then another one. Kinetic three. And um, the final one, which is the final composition, and click OK. Alright, so we have our four composition here, and I'm gonna create my import my um, footage onto the final com, and let's leave that, and we go to here first. So let's create a new text type. Um, you are unique then adjust this at the center you can adjust the size of the text on the character if you don't find the character you can find it on the windows and tick character ok so um, adjust the framing make it um, just like this alright ok things good now ok so now on to the animating part so go to the timeline at the text layer here open and go to animate then click opacity and ok so this uh, an animator and there's a range selector here so what you're gonna do is lower this opacity to zero and play around with the start you see that it is animating the text then go to start set that to zero open the stopwatch and go for the time somewhere around here and set that to 100 and then you see that it is animating right it's nice but it's kind of choppy so I want it to animating by word so let's go to the events and then and then go to units and change that characters to words and then you gotta see it is animating per word like that and if you change the smoothness, uh, you can see that it is kind of jagged animation, just like this. So if you lower the smoothness up to zero, you can get just like this. So instead of us animating the text layer by layer, we can play around with the animator and can apply this with just one layer. 
Okay, this is the simplest one. So let's level up a bit and go to the next part, which is the kinetic two. Okay, for this next step, it's going to be a little bit more advanced because we're going to include rotations. So here we have the two texts here, which is this only and one u. And um, if I rotate this, and you see that it is rotating at this point. Here's how you change the anchor point. Go to the toolbar at the top and select anchor point 2 or press Y and place it at the center and you see that it is rotating at the center. So that's how the anchor point works. All right? If you change onto the anchor point, it will rotate it based on the anchor point. Okay, so we want the anchor point to be right around here. All right? So and let's open the rotation shift alternate R and also the scale shift alternate S and let's rotate that 90 degree like this and press it here and scale this down a bit right so it animates just like this and if you enable motion blur so click here and bottle timeline and enable motion blur you see that it will be it will be a way lot different than before i think it is okay for now so um let's go to the effects and presets and type fill and we're gonna apply that fill onto the this text here and we want the change of color when the text is rotated so let's start with white open the stopwatch and go for the time somewhere around here and then change this color to blue so so the color change once it's rotated in 90 degrees angle okay So let's go to the second text and open it and enable animator press opacity and set this opacity to zero again then playing around with the animator go to the range selector and enable the stopwatch at the start and go to time somewhere around here and set that to 100% right nice and you can also play around with the advanced tool so um, you can change the smoothness and uh, the smoothness is where you see that it is animating the smoothness per word I mean per letter let's play that earlier choose that and okay it's good to go so for the next step we want these two texts to be rotating another 90 degrees and then apply a new text okay so right click at the right click at the timeline and select null object rename that to rotation and then place and scale this null object bigger and place it at the center of the text somewhere around here it's fine and parent these two texts onto the rotation and then we're gonna open then we're gonna enable the rotation by pressing alternate shift R place it um, somewhere around here Okay, let's close that and let's create a new text layer so stop comparing yourself and align that make sure that it disappear after the first and second text drag this timeline somewhere around here okay and then add the 
and then add the null object, drag the rotation point to the third text. Okay. So let's place it here. Make sure that it is on the screen. Oh, let's open up the scale and also the position and pressing alternate shift s and rotate that 90 degree and place it somewhere around here right there you go hmm, i think it's it's quite let's remove the position okay okay so we want we want that only the rotation right let me adjust the null object to somewhere the center right okay nice okay so so let's align this third text and then we're going to animate this and click opacity then set this opacity to zero and go to the selector and click the start and then place it somewhere around here and then set that to 100 percent right nice and you can you can also play around with the randomness so uh, it doesn't look like this so you can play around with the randomness so let's set that to somewhere i think 176 okay let's play that right this is quite cool let's extend this so let's make that shorter okay nice so there you have it that's the second technique then next technique i'm going to show you guys how to apply 3d effect using the camera tool okay so next we have these two text here so um, let's go to this text open it and go to animate this time we click position so let's open the stopwatch place it all the way down here then go for the time and then set it back here let's enable motion blur and then there you go next we're going to copy the animation and apply that to the second text There you go, right? So next, um, we're gonna create a new camera. So right click and select camera. And we have this uh, camera here. So I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna change that. Let's click OK. In order to enable 3D, so go to the go to timeline and select this cute thing right here and click enable. So we want to click this text and go at the top and select Unified Camera Tool. And if I drag this text, and you see that it is rotating in 3D. Awesome, right? Okay. And in order for you to animate, go to this camera, open it, and go to Transform, Enable Point of Interest and Position. So let's rotate this somewhere around here right and go forward time somewhere right around here and rotate that to maybe around here okay let's close that so let's play right pretty cool You can also play around with the zoom option click here click camera option and then there's so many things around here and i'm just gonna click zoom and you can zoom in and zoom out whatever you want and it's up to you, you can be as crazy as you want right animating this and make it zoom in and zoom out let's close that 
Alright, cool. But I'm gonna stick with the previous setup, so let's do that. There's so many features in the camera layer, so I'm not gonna touch in depth into that. And now that the third now that the third text is done, let's go to the final comp. And here I only apply my text here. So let's apply this third text and here. Then then drag this text layer somewhere around here. And there you have it, a kinetic typography in After Effects. So that is how you make a kinetic typography. If you guys have any question, be sure to give a comment in the down below. I'm, I will try my best to answer your questions. And be sure to give a like and subscribe. She will. I leave all the links in the resources. Be sure to check it out. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Stay safe.